The year is currently 1939. A girl who goes by the name of Lising Memminger is raised by her foster parents. The mother is named Rosa Huberman, and the father is named Hans Huberman. And now, there's an issue with Germany. Basically, Germany was attacking neighboring countries, and the British and the French did not like that at all. So when Germany and the Soviet Union invaded Poland, that striked a war. Now, this war wasn't just any war. It was World War II. And that's where the story takes place. We then meet a kid that's named Rudy Steiner, who's very athletic and also goes to the same school as her. Rudy and Lisa become very close friends with each other, and they join a specific group so that way they can steal stuff from other people. They only really stole food and books. Well, Lisa was the one who was stealing books. Everybody else just went for the food. And when the foster father found out about this, he nicknamed Lisa the Book Thief, which is also the name of this book. And she usually stole the books from libraries and fires. But now, we need to get into a serious topic. At the time, the person who ruled this country was Adolf Hitler. He was very well known for being racist, homophobic, and also sexist. And he hated this one specific group of people, Jews. If a Jew was ever seen on Germany, well, let's just say it wouldn't be a happy ending for them. One of Hans Huberman's friends named Max was at the doorstep. They were kind of frightened. This was because Max was a Jew, and if they kept him, there was a risk that all of them could die. However, they decided to keep him safe. A few months go by, and a knock is heard on their door, and it was no other than the German soldiers. Hans and Rosa tried to stay calm, hoping that they wouldn't find Max, and thankfully, when the soldier came inside and checked around the house, they didn't find him. This was because Max was hiding in the basement. Max was so skinny that the soldiers didn't even see him. We're currently in the 1940s, and World War II is still going on, right? Yes, but also no. Here's why. Since the Soviet Union was getting attacked by Germany, they decided to switch sides onto Britain's team, and also, the United States started to join in on the war. After a while, Germany was becoming an easy target, and that's when chaos happened. Planes flew over Germany and dropped bombs all over the cities, leaving debris and many people dead, including Rudy, the foster parents, and Max. Surprisingly, Liesl still survived, but with everybody that she knew gone, she didn't have a purpose anymore. 